Which one do you want first? Bad one first. I don't like stories with a happy ending. We've got a new pilot from Top Gun, call sign Skull One. He'll be with us and we'll start his sortie today. Any good news, General? It seems that the terrorist group called Children of Fallen Nations has acquired a lot of serious hardware. S20 Shilka, MI19 Strelke, Drone S14, and, uh, something that means shrimp. These are all flying relics. For them, this is very good stuff. Even better, they chose our backyard to show off their new toys. Right here, Taipei 3 Colony, near the border. Just a little bit to the west is UCN territory. The troops stationed there only have old M1s. We also have Delta operators as a ground asset. Call sign Bravo 1. Okay, boss, we know what to do. Skull 1, welcome to the 7th Fleet. I'm General George Reynolds. Call sign AWAC Dragon's Eye. Nice to meet you, but the welcoming party is over. Get your ass to work. Any questions? What's for dinner tonight? You're probably all wondering why we've been assigned to the defense of the Taipei 3 colony. Well, I've got a short history lesson for you. Here we go. After the last world war, the planet's surface can no longer support human life. We won that war, so we have a responsibility to shoulder. And so we formed the Coalition of Free Nations, a transnational political entity that seeks to unite the scattered people of the surface as one. Under us? You make it sound as though that's a bad thing. See this map? The CFN already encompasses the Americas, and we have our allies in the Pacific. Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, the Philippines, and we have the British Islands and Australia fighting alongside us as well. The Children of Fallen Nations are an armed group formed by the surviving soldiers of the nations that fell in the last Great War. Most remaining nations can't afford to simply lift their cities into the skies like the rest did in the 2050s. They're not too happy about being left behind while the wealthy went on to a better standard of living. Their ultimate goal is to bring the flying cities down. My birthday, so a victory would be nice. Where have you been? If this was a pizza service, you'd be free by now.
Listen up. The new enemy squadron is composed of MI-24s. Their specs are comparable with your M3s. If you don't want to die, stick together. What the hell? How do you get the hands on that? Every single one here. These hostile battle planes are really bad. Get moving. Our M1's getting slaughtered. Hey, Skull, you better keep pushing that booster. Good job, men. So, boss, what's for dinner? Welcome to Matril, Lieutenant Colonel Morgan Akeen. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Esmeralda Ingrid, the captain of the USS Takao. I will be your mission control. Matril is a private military contractor. Its major stockholder is a weapon manufacturer, General Cybernetic Technology. We work directly under the Pentagon and the President of the United States Command. Okay, let's get to today's task. Today, General Cybernetic Tech is going to deliver the newest prototype battle frame, the GCT-X01 to us at Neo Ichi Colony. Right now, the Children of Fallen Nation terrorist group is attacking Neo Aichi Colony. We estimated they'll use everything they have to get the prototype battle frame before we do. I'm confident that we will be able to beat them to the prototype. Once you're there, beat the machine with emergency startup and fight your way out. The other pilot now should be waiting for you in the cockpit. Please take good care of her. The USS Takao is a small special forces assault carrier, comparable in size to the USAF's own frigate. It's not designed for head-on engagements. We can carry up to three battle frames on board. We also have two transport helicopters, which can carry each a squad of elite ground operators. So you see, it's not just you. Everyone here is the best at what they do. Uh, pirates on Framithril, right? I am Professor Iwata, the Reed researcher of Project Mirai. The startup sequence is nearly complete. Please wait a moment. With the assistance of technology, mankind will someday be able to more effectively share their feelings with one another. We will transcend the boundary dividing our hearts and minds. Hatred and conflict will all become obsolete, enabling direct communication between technology and the human brain. And networking the human consciousness through such technology is the mission behind Project Mirai. The mission we at General Cybernetic Technology work to achieve. If we succeed, humanity, and thus society, will evolve together. We will enter this new era without weapons, without distrust, without conflict. Together, we can realize this dream as the future, the rebirth of humanity. Starting up. 
CPU is up. Data link online. Weapon systems are armed. Particle output stable. Nucon direct brain interface established. Systems on brain. Most of the weapons are unusable right now. It'll take a while before all of them are online. Would you like to try using both? Multiple targets and once without locking. The princess is in the city area. I'm gonna open the gate now. Mirai will fight better in an open area. Can you open the colony's gate? Is ready. What, you mean open all of them? Alright, here we go. Smart missiles ready. Squadrons of MI-24 and support from that ship. We want the USS Takao to assist. Mirai can handle this. That ship and all of its escorts are destroyed. Good work. Takao will pick you up in a moment. Please wait there. From now on, I entrust Mirai. Railgun is ready. I mean, the human Mirai, under your care. Please raise her to be a good person. Professor, you are always welcome on our ship at any time, Professor. Destroyer shouldn't be able to find us on radar, let alone engaging us from that sort of distance. It must be using a recon squadron for remote visual targeting. So far, all the shots have missed, but their aim is getting better. If Takao uses weapons to take these battle frames out, our position will be compromised. We will break our silent run, crank out active jammer, accelerate, and shake them off. But right now, Mirai doesn't have any weapons. 
The Psycho Drone is still attached to its wings, right? That should be enough. And Pilot Son, I mean Mr. Morgan, will get accustomed to the Psycho Drone better too. GCTX-01 is the world's first fourth-generation battle thread. Its onboard AI reads the pilot's brainwaves, enhancing the control the pilot has over the frame. These brainwaves must be very strong and very focused. There are few who possess this strength of the mind. Mirai is the only worthy candidate I have found thus far. Humanity cannot progress if we cannot unite as one. We cannot trust our own species, because we build walls around our hearts and minds to protect ourselves from those who seek to do us harm. But without trust, we breed only pride, greed, and hatred. It only creates more distrust. With this technology, we will dissolve these walls. We will create a world without Boundaries. I don't understand. Um... Hmm? What is it, Mirai? Well, uh... No, it's nothing. So please avoid close range engagement. Sun is deployed! If you want the Psycho Drone to engage any target, just initiate roll call. There's another squadron. This one comprises of MI-24 cannon type. Pirate Sword. You should be able to rock on to the target now. Funnels deployed! Are quite formidable. I think it's safer to keep some distance. Don't get ahead of your funnels. If you're under attack from missiles, just release the target rock. Psycho drones will help intercept incoming missiles. New hostile squadron has arrived. Deployed. The large squadron of MI-24. All of them are missile type. Frames in combat area neutralized. Enemy ship has stopped firing IM cannon. Well done. Remember the last engagement. It appeared that those ion cannon volleys are fired from this. Celis Taurus, a critical asset of children of fallen nation, and the flagship for Jennifer Carrera, their second in command. Today, we'll sink the Celis Taurus and capture Jennifer Carrera. So please listen carefully. I am going to keep this brief as possible. 
Zealous Taurus is a modified UCN's Keto class destroyer. The main weapon is the ion cannon in the bow. There's two VLS systems located on the ship's topside. But what's most dangerous about the battle frames is the anti-air missile systems located on both sides of the ship. The good news is, the system will take a while to activate. The ship has the ability to track multiple airborne targets and intercept multiple missiles at once. We expect that its missiles interception system is almost perfect. There's a high chance you'll encounter Jennifer in her personal battle frame, a heavily modified M3. If you have to engage, we advise you to stay away from her machine gun range. That's all you need to know. I have to say this again. This is not an easy task. If the Air Force is the one doing this, they'll have to use an entire wing. Professor Iwata is away at his lab this morning. Hey, do we have to take Mariah out into combat? I know she's skilled, but she's just a kid. It's okay, Morgan. I can do this. My father implanted my brain with the receptor chip. And I've been training in the simulator since I was very young. I was built. I was born to pilot this frame. Your father? You mean Professor Iwata? Don't worry. I am fully capable of protecting my co-pilot. I am ready to accomplish the task at hand. She speaks as though she's more prepared for this than the soldiers over twice her age here. But she sounds so hollow, emotionless. Somehow I feel kind of sorry for this girl. Like she said, she was born into this. She never had a choice, and she knows it. Let's just hope she believes in what she's fighting for. Once the data reaches the internet, like anything else, it's there forever. Well, hear my words. Despite all the societal collapse, there are still people alive on the surface. I grew up there. Life is really hard. The contamination left most of the population sterilized. The kids like me are the last generation of the surface born. Born shortly after the wealthy built their flying city. How are we supposed to get past that ion cannon? The Dachau is equipped with experimental cloaking technology. We can go invisible for a few minutes. The system generates tremendous heat, so there's a cooldown period after each use. Because of the heavy blizzard and barren landscape we're headed into, this is the perfect mission to put it to the test. Isn't the target area deep inside UCN territory? The target is miles outside any populated areas. Far enough from the terrorists think it's safe to hide in a large destroyer. We should be able to get in and out without any problems. Main system engaging combat mode. Okay, Morgan, Dai, are you ready? Right now, the Solus Taurus is only BLS and Ion Cannon active. Funnel deployed! If you deployed. take out those escort battle frames first, the job will be much easier. Multiple hostile battle frames detected. Releasing dummy decoy is recommended. I'll avoid firing at the cockpit block, okay? Don't forget that Solus Taurus has an almost perfect missile interception system. Rai, there are no weapons installed in the ship's building, right? Affirmative. But engaging at close range is very risky. Confirmed. Funnels 
deployed. Morgan, Mirai, well done. The ship's main missile systems are destroyed. Only the ion cannon is left. It'll focus more on the ion cannon usage, but don't worry. It's not designed to engage battle ready. Psychodrive is now usable. Funnels deployed! Decoys ready! Deployed! at hypersonic speed. Damn it! Jennifer was not on that ship. One battle plan has done all of this. Jennifer has arrived. Do not take her lightly. She's a confirmed ace. Morgan, keep the distance. Don't let her in the machine gun range. Deployed! Disabled. The pilot is safe. Main system will disengage from combat mode now.